hello viewers in today's episode we shall learn about the various investigations or tests required for a patient with hypertension or high bp so just going on uh, uh, to discuss before you know the investigation is test properly we shall discuss regarding what all you know different aspects of history and uh, examination is also needed for a patient who is presenting with high bp so starting on with evaluation your doctor would you know look for your age so the importance of age comes in uh, the concept that i already told you in the first episode uh, there is something called primary hypertension and secondary hypertension primary hypertension happens happens in adults and you know something kind of elderly and middle aged population whereas the secondary hypertension happens in a lesser age say less than 35 or 30 years of age so in those cases we would you know think of other possibilities and they would also ask you regarding your extent of physical activity whether you are having enough exercise or your physical activity is adequate so that if it's not maybe uh, changes or recommendations would be suggested to improve that and your basic diet pattern your diet habits everything will be assessed so that you know unwanted uh, diet or food items which you are taking should be avoided and what all how it can be bettered and things like that so next comes the smoking and the alcohol suppose you are uh, you are a smoker and you are a ethanol user then uh, you know recommendations or you know suggest suggestions or advice from your doctor will be uh, given regarding stopping them or reducing the amount and uh, the next comes in the part of history taking would be you know like asking how much duration of uh, hypertension you are having or since when you are having this hypertension so uh, the reason in that is that suppose you are having a high bp suddenly then the chances of you know other system damage is like very common and suppose you are having a bp for a prolonged period of time and suddenly you are having a high bp then also the chances of damage to other systems is high so we would also check regarding you know whether you are having your other systems in your body into a normal uh, range or you, or you are having any symptoms pertaining to that and things like that your medication details will also be taken into consideration like what hypertensive medicines you are taking and uh, what are the medications you are taking whether those medications can affect your bp whether it can reduce or increase your bp and things like that and your family history whether they had your any of your family members had bp or somebody had you know passed away at a very younger age in your family all these you know uh, indicate regarding some risk factors towards you developing a bp and uh, whether you are having any heart attack or any heart problems or any stroke brain problems all these things so uh, i hope from this uh, brief introduction you would have got an idea or a clue regarding what all can influence your bp you know say your age your body weight everything does uh, influence so next comes the examination part what the doctor would uh, re- uh, would necessarily check in you and what would uh, they want to check in you it is not only the bp which we we are interested in checking you know basically the bp of both your arms right arm and left arm would be checked and the next would be like uh, we would also like to check your lower limb bp in few cases in few suspicious cases not in all and the next would be like postural bp as i already told you in the previous episode standing bp would always check in the first episode newly diagnosed patient so the next thing would be to check your body mass index so that is uh, checked with using your height and your weight and even sometimes your waist circumference here the circumference around your abdomen and hip all those would be taken into consideration we would also use the stethoscope for looking into you know any different uh, murmurs or any extra new sounds are heard in your heart or any part of the body and uh, things like that and your thyroid gland would be examined your eye fundus will be examined using ophthalmoscope uh, things like that and uh, maybe uh, in sitting and while lying down also your other organ uh, exam uh, organs will be uh, systematically examined and your peripheral pulses your all your pulses in your arms and in your legs all will be examined so next coming on to the major part or the most interesting part is the investigation what all investigations are necessary for a patient with high bp we all know that you know for a sugar there is something called you know three monthly check or six monthly or one year check there is a list of investigations which are recommended and you know people do it on a larger basis but for bp you know people don't do it uh, so sincerely or it is not recommended by many of the doctors or people sometimes ignore uh, the doctors advice and things like that but it is always better to get few investigations or tests uh, if you are having high bp i'll let you know what are those investigations the first comes the blood sugar or the hb1c both are very necessary because even if you are having diabetes there are chances of you developing hypertension if you are having hypertension you have chances of developing diabetes so in that way regular sugar checking is important 
next comes the lipid profile in that comes the good cholesterol and the bad cholesterol with that we can assess your risk for developing any uh, heart disease or any stroke or things like that the next comes the renal function test the function test of your kidneys say urea and creatinine and things like that uh, the next comes the uh, electrolyte sodium and uh, potassium all these would give you know uh, what kind of metabolic uh, dysfunction or metabolic problems uh, your body is facing because of high bp or uh, because of the disease uh, your bp is getting shooten up and things like that in your urine we would be interested in knowing about the protein the rbc or the albumin content and things like that because that would also indicate some kidney disease and we would always say take a, a ecg for your you know baseline uh, ecg and we would all, always want to take it every year or things like that so that we see like how are the changes are there any changes and things like that there are also some special in the, uh, investigations which are necessary for a patient with bp depending on their conditions or other risk factors which they are facing and things like that so we we'll not go into detail regarding that because that is a huge list and we do not do it commonly it is only indicated in few patients who, who are presenting with such a problem so whatever investigations or tests i told you know this is what we do on a routine basis the next comes is assessing your uh, cardiovascular risk so on what basis your cardiovascular risk is assessed so as i already told you there is something called as cvd score uh, and the other uh, risk scores are q risk 3 that is type q r i s k number 3 q risk 3 score that can be used and the other thing is who risk score which is like more uh, more indicative for you know asian population because the other populations are like pan india population the who population also considers our asian population into consideration so who risk score and the q risk 3 can be taken into consideration for you know assessing your risk factor for your cardiovascular disease okay we was uh, this is all we have for you today in the coming episode we shall learn something very interesting that how can we control our blood pressure without any medications or with minimal medications focusing on the other aspects of you know uh, non pharmacological or non medical treatment so in case you like this video please do not forget to subscribe share uh, like the video and uh, click on the notification bell and uh, please ask your doubts and suggestions and put forth your suggestions in the comment box see you in the next episode stay healthy and god bless you